peace family grand rising i hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well and i'm super duper excited because today our baby the brand new garden bed is one month old that's right exactly a month ago today we planted seeds in this gorgeous garden and I can't wait to show you guys how much it's grown in only a month. I'm also gonna share the things that um, didn't grow or went differently than I thought, and I'll talk about future plans for this garden bed, and then I'll come back on month two and show you guys an update. So let's just take a moment to remember what this garden bed looked like on day one when we planted all of our seeds and starts in there for a moment before we take a look. I'm super mad. Okay, let me show you guys something. So first of all, the garden bed is gorgeous. Some things look like they're ready to feed us. But let me show you an enemy because he's right here in the tour. Oh, he just flew away. You know I'm talking about you. There is a squash vine borer. This is what it looks like. So y'all will know him when he comes to your garden. He is not your friend. He is not friends of your squash plants. And he probably laid eggs. So I'll show you guys what those eggs look like later on. But let's check out this gorgeous garden bed you guys i am so proud and learning so much i have been here every day with it and i still can't even believe like how much <laughs> stuff is really growing in my garden bed like it's beautiful it's beautiful to watch it's so exciting something is new every day or bigger or something some of the cucumbers have flowers and what i'm learning is so valuable just about spacing and how things grow and how to get them to work together and their patterns and it's just going to help me become a better gardener so let's go kind of square by square and i'll tell you what everything is this is a square foot garden so that's how i planned it out so in this back corner square was supposed to be a tomato. I thought I was gonna put a tomato here and that I could keep attaching it up this trellis, but the tomato seeds did not pop out. I did start more, but they weren't out. And then these cucumbers started to grow so big and bushy that I was like, I don't think anybody else really needs to go down here that's big, that needs the trellis. So just yesterday, I planted some garlic chive seeds. They should be okay in this little corner sharing space. I'm not too invested in them, but I, I think it will be cool to see them grow. So that's what's there. So this square foot is actually, doesn't have anything coming out of it. These two are in the next square foot. This is two, um, these are lemon cucumbers. They're yellow cucumbers and they're like more round my kids really wanted to try them when they saw the um seeds so we have that and then i think this next one which is flowering flowering hope you guys can see back there um there are flowers back there i think they're all male flowers so far but i heard they make those first so i'm just happy that it's happy and healthy i think those are two um pickling cucumbers uh right here in this square foot is okra and this is actually two okra plants so i plan to only have one According to the book that I'm reading, it should only be one. But mommy has some really close okra in her other bed. So I thought, let me just try it out and see. This is basil. These were put in here as two starts, but it was not this bushy. So exciting. This is squash. Okay, look how big the squash is. I only dedicated two square feet to the squash. 
according to my book but look at them they all over here on the zinnias these are zinnias that was planted there as a start but it has gotten much bigger this is another square foot under this leaf that was supposed to be planted but nothing popped out here so i was gonna put something else and i might still squeeze something else but it looks pretty full i think next time what i will do is probably plant my seed closer to the outside here even though i'm still leaving it two square feet that way it can spill over here and not so much all over the other plants but they're growing big and beautiful they're so gorgeous and looks like it's ready to start feeding us because some flowers are coming through i do want to show you guys this i'm going to come back and get this later hopefully you can see it's a little red spot that is a squash vine borer egg the bug I showed you guys earlier, do not leave these on here. I take a piece of tape and get them off, which I show in another video that I'm gonna post that talks about dealing with pests. Get this off of here before they hatch because they dig into your squash plants and eat them up from the inside and they're gross, like grubs. Okay, so I dedicated quite a bit of space in this middle area all through here for ground cherries I, I heard they take a lot of space but the mistake that i made i don't know if it's a happy mistake or not yet is i planted i think three seeds one day and i thought they didn't come out this one this one and this one also a cat was pooping in the garden bed so i would scoop a lot of dirt out so maybe i thought i pulled the seeds or moved them so they didn't come out so then i planted three more seeds and then it rained for like a week and everything <laughs> as you can see now i have six plants so i don't know if they can all fit here but we're you know we're still learning so we're gonna see how it goes um i have an eggplant right there that just now popped out hey bee baby this one just popped out i thought it didn't pop out and i started more seeds so i actually have one in a pot that was waiting to go in here and now I have this one. So maybe I'll give away the one that's in the pot. So as you can see, hopefully you can see, we have two sunflowers here. That's a sunflower and that is a sunflower. They're kind of being overpowered by um, these cucumbers. This is a cucumber coming all the way over here. So, I wish I would have scooted them up a little bit in their square foot because each of them has its own square foot, but it's more like in the middle of it. Maybe I could have pushed it up further because I'm trying to train the cucumbers to go behind them. The cucumbers are everywhere, but I'm happy that they are happy. So this is a zucchini. Another kind of squash. Look at it. It looks so strong. I mean, for one month, I'm amazed. I really just think it's the soil health, like what we put into making it healthy in the first place, really paid off. So I planted some chamomile and see they're under there. I don't know how they got all moved. This one is another one that had two square feet. So this is a square foot. Can you guys see my knives? They mark my square feet and then it had this square foot on the side of it as well so i would scoot this one over next time too and just let it spill out over the side of the garden bed i wonder if this is a better view for you guys let me know give me feedback on these views guys so this is an egyptian kale i'm excited about that this is the second planting the first time i tried to direct so seeds in here they didn't pop out and so this one is not as old as everybody else in here. Um, same with the ground cherries. That's not the same with the eggplant. That's an original eggplant seed. So I thought it didn't come out because everybody else was growing so big. And now it's here. So gardening is really a lesson in patience. These are zinnias. They were put in here as small uh, little seedlings. I started in pots over by the door and they look like they might make a flower soon. These are just like the other flowers that we have down there, except the blooms are supposed to be green too. I thought that was so cool. 
So back here behind the zucchini, I just put in these purple basils. Hope you can see them. There's one, two, three, four. These seeds that I direct sowed did not pop out. And I think some seeds are just better than others for that. Some plants are just better than others. So, um, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm, you know, trial and error, that's how we learn. I wanna show you guys again on the zucchini because it's super important because you don't wanna let them hatch. I've been having to come out every day and do this um, and get these little eggs off. I'm going to do a peppermint spray to hopefully mask the smell for the bug. I hope this is a clear shot, but see, there's one there and they'll be on the leaves too. I don't know if you can see on the leaf there. There's one right there. So I just take a piece of tape and get those all off. Check the back of your leaves. I'm not gonna show too much because that's not what the video is about. Back here, we have a red okra. It is big and beautiful and it's growing way faster than the green okra that are over there. And then this one is a cantaloupe starting to make flowers as well. And we're just trying to guide this beauty up the trellis. He has his own trellis, so it was two square feet dedicated to the cantaloupe. And then these are a larger type of cucumber here. So I've got a lot of cucumbers. I'm excited. I'm gonna be putting them in my drinks and on my eyes and everything. So overall, I think it's beautiful. I can't ask for any more, even with certain stuff not popping out. Oh, I'll show you guys some of the blank spaces in here that I am planning to put some things in. So I did show you guys the eggplant, but this square foot right next to the eggplant is bare because pepper seeds didn't come out. And then this, another square foot there, another kind of pepper. I think it was purple bell pepper and a Marconi pepper. And then this space here is free too, but I'm kind of just, I don't know. If I put something there, it might be like carrots or something that's okay with the shade and okay with the small space and doesn't get tall and bushy. So that's how I'm trying to just learn how to plan this out is like, Seeing how these plants work together, how much space are they, they gonna take up, how much root space do they need. But I mean, overall, I'm happy. This is only my second year gardening. So my one month old <laughs> garden bed brings me so much joy. Um, it's just so exciting. So thank you guys for sharing this with me. I'm open to feedback. What do you guys think I should plant? What do you think I should pull out? <laughs> What did I do well and what can I do better? Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you feel led. And I hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well and loving on yourselves on a daily basis. Make sure that you fill your own cup before you try to fill anybody else's. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.